This podcast may contain paid advertisements, but more on that later. Welcome to the O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast, where I discuss the nuts and bolts of business and leadership with a focus on bootstrapping a business from the ground up. This podcast is for all entrepreneurs, bootstrappers, and leaders in all walks of life. My goal is to help you grow both personally and professionally. I'm your host and friendly neighborhood entrepreneur, Isaiah O'Connor. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Sorry, it's been a while, a good month or so. Um, been rather for sick, been busy. Now I'm here. Um, forgot to shave. Sorry. Um, so today I'm just going to kind of give an, a little bit of an update on what's been going on, why I haven't been posting in a while, or uh, why I haven't been uploading in a while. For those that follow the audio portion of this podcast, I'm sorry, I've really dropped the ball here, but I do hope you can forgive me. Things kind of went crazy. So it started off with, I had recorded a podcast, got it all ready to upload, went through, started listening to the podcast, double checked what I said, realized that I had was mistaken in one of the things I said completely completely wrong so I had to go re-record and redo the whole thing and before I could finish that little project my family came home the kids ran into the house and that was it fine I'll do it again the next day um next day my throat started to really hurt I wasn't able to talk very clearly and my son tested positive for COVID as did my wife and my throat started really hurting. I went to work that day, came back home, got worse. Actually, no, I had, everyone was starting to feel sick. I went to work, came back home. Then my, my wife told me that night, she was positive for COVID. She tested, my son got tested. He was positive for COVID. I tested, I was not positive for COVID yet, but it came. A couple of days later, I did test positive for COVID. And it wiped me out for the better part of two weeks. Um, I was not filling up to recording or doing much of anything. Primarily because every time I get sick, I do have a touch of asthma. And with this little bit of a touch of asthma and I'm sick, it makes it so that um, I always get a cough that persists for weeks on end. and the cough that I got is still with me and I might actually cough during this podcast a little bit so again sorry so I'm not 100% back on path but that's that's life you know now let's take this into kind of what's going on with business and I'll try to find some sort of lesson to be learned from this chaos so yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks. My main business um, is finally coming back. Good news is they lifted a lot of the COVID restrictions. And with the lifting of those COVID restrictions, they uh, business are getting better. I'm starting to pick up a lot more business. Things are going good. And things are going overall generally much, much better. So that's a good thing. I've been very, very busy. I finally started feeling better about a week, two weeks ago, almost a week and a half ago. Um, still coughing, st still have not much of a voice to talk and record, which is a pain, but trying to catch that up. But I got a temporary job, a two-week contract, working in the warehouse. Now, you can go back in the archives on the audio podcast. I record one saying you do whatever it takes because you need to do whatever it takes to to take care of your family. So I got a temporary position, two week position. And actually it was rough. I was freaked out because when I got COVID, I worked my one day in that two week position and I got COVID and couldn't go back. So I got one day of a two week position, I actually went back the last day of the two week contract. Good news is apparently they liked my work on that one day I was there and they extended the contract to another two weeks. And if you notice right around here, I'm trying to use a green screen. I don't have it quite tight enough or something. And now it looks like I'm starting to hulk out a little bit. So 
no, I'm not angry. No, I'm not trying, trying to hulk out here. Just uh, it is what it is. For those on the audio portion listening to this, um, if you go to the YouTube channel, go to our YouTube channel, O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast, Videocast YouTube channel, you'll see that on my neck as I'm talking, the way the lighting is here or whatever, that every time I turn my head, it looks like my neck's turning green. I'm not hulking out, I promise. Anyway, back on track. Uh, today's a little bit rambly because just kind of giving an update what's going on, where I've been. So they extended my two-week contract, which means as soon as I was better, I've been working early morning, getting home a little bit later in the afternoon, but I'm coming home right in time for my kids to come home, making it really hard for me to catch up on recording because by the time we get the kids to bed, I have to go to bed and go to work the next morning. That's kind of where I've been. Now, I did have a weekend to record, but good news is COVID restrictions have been lifted and all of a sudden party, party, party. I had a huge event on, uh, that I had to prep for on Saturday, huge event on Sunday, eight hours of work. And the cool thing is when you run your own business, if you do it right, you can make pretty good profit. I worked my butt off on Sunday and for the day's hours of work, I worked about eight hours. I took home around $900 US after my expenses were done. So not bad for a little bit more than eight hours work. Actually, if you counted the time I took to prep and everything else, it's probably more like 12 hours of work, but still $900 for 12 hours of work, it's not too bad. Now, if I could only get that every day, I would be able to have a crew, a full employees, hire an accountant, all this good stuff. Because you know what? Quite honestly, uh, my accountant, I really, really, really want to fire him. He's probably one of the worst accountants on the planet. Matter of fact, in 20, was it 2020 or 2020, last 2020? Yeah. Uh, he messed things up so much, we had to completely just pretty much delete my accounting program and reset it and put in two years of transactions, one at a time, all the way through to get it back on track to fix it. Problem is, this accountant comes really, really, really cheap, and I can't afford to fire him. And that accountant that's so bad with the whole accounting thing is me. So I'm kind of stuck. So hopefully, prayerfully, I'll be able to build up my business again as people are being excited and coming up, and we're able to start getting things running again with the business. So I'm very excited about that. Now, another thing that happened, which is business related, is I did a cold call and I walked into a car dealership here and gave my card. Uh, about a week later, COVID restrictions hit and the entire planet got shut down for the next two years. COVID restrictions lifted. I got a phone call. Hey, by the way, do you remember me? You gave me your business card. We need balloons. So working on that deal as we speak or about a second, obviously, but still working a deal to get a major car company balloons for the big events. That's a huge, huge thing. I got a, another event come in, another company I worked with, got them good deals. They gave me good deals. They got me a new client that loves balloons. So my business is starting to come back like crazy and it's really exciting and fun and we're finally catching up on some bills here, which is really, really nice. So I've had a lot going on. Uh, uh, ooh, a new, got a new, um, got new clients. I've got another event company I'm working with that they were also about to launch. They're planning to launch in March of 2022. 20. Obviously, that did not happen. So they're getting ready to launch again. And I was in on the ground level back then. I'm still in and part of this company. So hopefully that will bring up business. So all these good things are building business. Now, what can I, what lesson can I take from this? And real quick here, I'm going to change one setting here and see if I can get rid of the Hulk. Sorry, guys. The whole video thing is a new 
Let's see if that helps. Yeah, it kind of helps. Now there's a thing, camera thing there. Okay, hey, that's better. So thank you for being with me as I step-by-step -step progress as my videos will get better and better and better as I figure out better editing, better equipment, uh, a better green screen, all that good stuff. So we'll get there. Anyway, so what can we learn? Well, the, I think the biggest thing is your foundations and the and I guess I'll call this sowing and reaping. I think that's the best um, talking about this because the business I'm getting now is not business. I'm actively, hold on a second. So, okay, anyway. Uh, for the audio, I, sorry guys, do bear with me. This is going to be a little bit of a rough one. I forgot to mute my outro, which I have on my audio track, which I record separately. And all of a sudden, if you're listening to the audio podcast, you'll hear the, uh, end of the podcast kick in all of a sudden disappear. Sorry about that. I'm just going to leave it in this time because. I don't have the energy to edit it quite yet. I'm not 100% yet tired. Sorry. We're going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this all out. Anyway, so this is just a podcast, me being real. It's been rough. Just trying to get something going back in before I can get back into the whole very professional planned out podcast, which I like to do. But sowing and reaping, we're going to call this sowing and reaping because in 2020, 20 early 2020 i walked out and i handed out business cards two years later i got the response i've handed out business cards two three years four years ago got a response now i don't have a lot of responses from business cards that's a whole nother uh thing to talk about in and of itself nowadays i just have people take picture of my kind of business card i have made a sticker that has my my logo on it, my contact information, my Facebook page, my website, phone number. And I have that sticker on like my phone. I just show them pictures, help them get save it onto their Facebook page, like my Facebook page. I just give them directly to the main thing and then they don't lose it, which is good. But also the big event I did, I had the store opening. It's because I reached out to another balloon company and I built a relationship with them. And now they're bringing me customers. It's I sewed in my time and effort energy to help these guys out. I called them about balloons. I looked for them and then I talked to them and I built a relationship. And then now months and months and months later, we have had no contact. They're bringing me business. Uh, some other people, they go up and they Googled me. They found me right away. They called me, contacted me for the big, event and now they're super happy with me because of that event and how do you get google you have to so 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 to get up on top on google because i'm finally getting good seo i'm finally getting people finding me they're finding my facebook page all the work i've been putting into for years is starting to pay off so to just encourage you if you're a small business owner especially you're starting up You've just been working hard, working hard, working hard, working hard, working hard, and not finding any breakthroughs. Maybe it's just your sewing. Maybe eventually after time and hard work, it's like with when you plant seeds. Right now, I've planted, business is not a seed that germinates overnight. <laughs> it's like when you plant seed, you have to wait for some water to hit it. You have to wait for it to pick up some sun before you can start even seeing a sprout. <coughs> <clears throat> sorry um before you start seeing anything and some seeds take longer than others for example example i've got two boys and to make them excited this year i decided to take two avocado seeds and stick to the big cinnamon and cinnamon water 
on the in the window. And avocado seeds take a very, very, very long time to germinate. It takes like a month and a half or so just for it to start to kind of little bitty split open, just a little bit, just so you can see that something's actually going on. And it takes something like a hundred days or something before you even get a decent sized plant that you can actually put into a pot, let alone growing avocados or anything else, in which I doubt we'll get actual avocados from this plants because we're in Norway, not exactly the warm tropical area that avocados grow in, like in Southern California, Mexico, uh, Israel, anywhere in that area is where avocados grow. But anyway, that's besides the point. Point being is business is something sometimes you do things, you plant things, you work really, really hard, you plant a lot of seeds. And sometimes these seeds can stay dormant for months and months and months and years and years. And all of a sudden it starts all growing back really, really quickly. Now with me, my business, it's been boosted because everyone's been sitting back going, when can I party? When can I party? I can't party. I can't party. I can't party. For two years, pretty much no parties, no weddings, no kids' birthday parties, no big events, no community. Now they're going, party! We need balloons. So all that work is starting to pay off. Now, I've honestly not been putting very much effort or energy into sales and marketing this last month. I've been sick. I've been working. I've been trying to find other jobs because there's been COVID restrictions. Locked down really, really hard. The restrictions went up. I immediately started getting clients. Immediately started getting business because of the things I sowed in 2020 are now growing to a point where I'm gathering in the harvest from my work I did before. Now, when you sow things and you're starting to reap things, don't stop sowing more seed. Don't stop watering the ground. Don't stop getting rid of weeds in your thing. Don't stop. Because you have because you stop, eventually you're going to get all the harvest and then you'll eat it all and they'll be gone and then you'll be the ants and the grasshopper. Grasshopper will enjoy all the food in the spring and summer and then starve in the fall and winter. You always got to keep things going. You always got to keep it rolling. But don't give up. You never know when that business card, that conversation about your product with a important person will come back and say, hey, by the way, I'm now ready to buy your product and you'll be ready to take care of them. Anyway, with that, um, sorry to lose my voice again. You guys have a great time, great day. I will see you soon. Hopefully I'll be able to get another recording up on time next Friday. That's gonna go up just as soon as I can get it up. It might be today, which is Wednesday. I might upload it in a couple of days. We'll see what I'm up for. Anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye. If you have found value in this content, please leave a comment and give us a five-star rating on whichever podcast platform you use. We're on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms. We also have a blog, the Bootstrap blog and Bootstrap YouTube videocast. Please check in the description for links to those. And if you'd like to support us, you can also donate at buymeacoffee.com forward slash bootstrap, or you can send us money on PayPal, which is again in the link below. And if you would like to interact with me and other leaders, you can just come over to our Bootstrap Podcast Facebook group. We've got a few people there. You can come hang out with us. And you have been listening to the O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast, which is an Athos Business Solutions Podcast. For our companion podcast, the Athos Business Podcast, hosted by Jason St. Clair, past episodes and related blogs, check out our website at www.athos.com, which is www.athos.com or a the Oz.com.